tell you what, it's weird managing a team at the wrong end of the table. And when I mean the wrong end of the table, I mean near the top of the league. And for the first time in a very long time, I'm actually celebrating dominant victories rather than actually beating another team on corners or free kicks or red cards. And all it took was a little bit of imagination and also having the biggest budget in the league. But we're not going to go into that too much. In the last episode, we took on third from bottom in Teller in the league and uh, drew them nil-nil, which was another blank we drew in the league on a live comm. And I thought to myself, maybe my team have stage fright. Maybe this isn't it. Maybe we need a harder game then because the two games I picked weren't actually that hard. And with that in mind, we decided to pick the Perugia game at home in the league as our live comm in this episode as they are currently top of the league while we're second after our good run of form lately although the 2-2 draw against Bari saw us concede a penalty straight after missing a penalty and then scoring a penalty in the second half and then bottling the lead in injury time fantastic stuff really but as I was just mentioning we are currently second in the league and Perugia are currently top and if we beat them we would be top of the league on goal difference I mean that would be the first time I've been top of the league on one of these series for quite a long time I had to get relegated in order to be top of the league, but let's not downplay my achievements. Chris Ramsey has now got a good standard in Italian, which means that he can finally tell the players where they need to kick the ball, because last season we struggled with that. I suppose you could call it the Italian job now. We're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Patrick Catrone has also hit some form finally for us as he started scoring some goals and also won player of the week. And then he decided to dedicate it to me. I mean, just stop sucking my dick, mate. This is why I brought Ray Wilkins and Chris Ramsey to Italy because the Brexit brigade is in full force now. Brexit means Brexit. The board are apparently pleased with my performance so far as manager. I mean, I am second in the league and that's why they did give me a new two-year contract. But apparently the fans aren't happy with the fact that Massimo Coda left. I mean, I went to check his stats. He's got two goals in the championship. Championship. Two goals. He had 18 by this time last year. He, what can you say? You can take the Coda away from the Proudy, but you can't take the Proudy away from the Coda. I don't think that's a saying. But now we move into our top two clash against Perugia at home. And with that in mind, I can name the strongest available side to me. And we will stick with the 4 5 1 formation at home because it's worked us well so far. And I might as well stick with it. But the back four stays the same with Capuano and Gionbe playing in the centre-back positions. Chipsa, Evangelista and Viola are the three midfielders. Our top goalscorer, Marto Cicciaretti, is on the right side. With Moise Keen on the left. And Patrick Catrone, who is in goalscoring form, is up front. Well, this is exciting, isn't it? We take on Perugia at home. If we win, we're top of the league. I was trying to think of some wordplay to do with Perugia. You know, to try and keep with the theme so far. That we try and use one of the Serie B teams you know, names in a, uh, in a sentence, but Perugia, there's not really much I can do with that. Hey girl, let me Perugia. I mean, that didn't even make any sense, but here we are. The biggest team talk I can give so far. Let's, um, I, I, I don't know. Let's give the fans something to cheer about. There we go. I mean, so far this season, I've had two episodes in Serie B. We haven't scored a goal or conceded. So if we could do one or the other, that would be nice. Other than concede, obviously. But the uh, the stands are raucous at the moment. You know, the, the Benevento Ultras are out in force against the Perugia uh, Posse. It's not really it's not really a, a threatening name, is it? If you had a firm, you wouldn't call yourselves the Perugia Posse, would you? It's like calling yourselves the Benevento Benders. Well, we've uh, given the ball away, uh, which is... Um, which is good. Now, Perugia on the attack, and uh, they're throwing goal, and Mustachio, oh, he's, he's giving it away, so we're giving it to Lanny. I mean, if you're a Game of Thrones fan, then you'd obviously call him Lannister, but I don't watch Game of Thrones, so, <laughs> you know, that's never happening. And now, uh, Cicciaretti has decided to shoot from 35 yards. I'm not sure what he tried to achieve there. Well, this is exciting, isn't it? Like, you know, I, I've got to stop picking these live con games, because every time I play away from the camera, we seem to be playing free-flowing football. The moment I go and turn on the camera, we suddenly can't play the game. And uh, Perugia have a highlight. Or do they? Well, here's Keen. Cicciaretti. The counter-attack is on. The counter-attack is off. But the counter-attack is on and it's off. And it's on again. Catrone. Into the box. Cicciaretti. It's 1-0. We've taken the lead. We're going top of the league. It's our first highlight of the game. We're up to first position. It's a fantastic cross by Patrick Catrone. I mean, at that time, it was on, off, on, off. But it's a great cross by Catrone. Cicciaretti with a fantastic header into the far corner. 1-0 to us. We're going up. 
even though I did have the biggest budget in the league and I've spent quite a lot on the better players, but all right, we got it's half time. We're one nil up. I haven't said that for a long time. We've got to guard against complacency. They are focused. We are going to win. I'm telling you, Perugia, they're out of the title race. We're in the front seat now. We're driving this thing off a cliff. See, it's funny because I can't actually drive. Yeah, you see? Relevant humor. All right, we're going to make a change because it's the 60th minute, and I always make a change on the 60th minute. Marone is coming on. I don't really know what he can do, so we're going to play him as deep line playmaker. And we're going to send on a right back because I... Don't know why. Uh, Perugia do have a highlight. Um, or do they? Oh, we're going to counter-attack him again. It's a long ball. See, that's Brexit football. It's very finest. Catrone. Catrone. It's 2-0. It's 2-0. We are going to win this game. We're going to stay top of the league. We are winning once again. As I said, look at that. It was like long ball football coupled with Barcelona football coupled with a long shot which has just flown into the top corner. But it's a fantastic goal. Give that man man of the match. Give that man goal of the month. Give me manager of the year. Give us team of the season and give us the league title. I've probably jumped the gun on all of those. But we are winning this league. I'm telling you. If we beat the team that are top of the league and we go top of the league... It's game over. But it looks like we're going to see out this victory. We are going to go top of the league in this episode. I mean, I might as well put clickbait in the title. Uh, they've scored. Well, we couldn't even keep a clean sheet. That, I mean, that's 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 a bit annoying. I mean, I'll say that's a bit annoying. That's fucked me off, right, actually. He's just hit a daisy car in the air and he's beat my goalkeeper. Oh, look at that long ball again. Oh, we're not going to lose the lead now, are we? Oh, surely not. No, surely not. Just ref, thank you, it's over. We've won 2-1. We've beaten Perugia at home. As I said, we're top of the league. I mean, I've just seen Spal won 5-4. That, oh, God. I mean, they love a high-scoring game. And we got them next, away from home. Oh, no, we're going to get thrashed. Step into Christmas, let's run together.